so I just got to the mall. I'm headed to Zara to do an exchange. I bought a pair of boots online that ended up actually being like a little bit too big. So I ordered another size and hopefully they fit. And also my friend is having a birthday dinner on Monday night, so I need to go and find an outfit. Um, I'll bring you guys along and show you what I find and I'll probably do a little bit of a haul if I'm able to find anything, but cross your fingers because Zara has been a little bit of a struggle lately. I haven't been able to make any really good purchases in store, so I'm hoping that I can find something today. So that was a huge failure. I spent an hour and a half in the store and did not get anything except for like the thing I originally came for, which was those boots that I exchanged online, but did not find a single thing that I liked. As you guys saw, I tried on that sweater, which was really cute, but I ultimately felt like I was not gonna really get any wear out of it. I would wear it just for like the one night and then never wear it again. And like the material was, not as a material that I feel like would wash really well. Like I feel like it would honestly get messed up after one wash, so I decided to leave it. And then I found like these really cute tank tops, but they were like $35, which was way more than I want to spend on a satin tank top. So yeah, this was a failed shopping trip. Um, totally wasted my time. But since I'm at the mall, I'm probably just going to order some food and take it home with me because I don't even feel like cooking after this horrible experience. Like Zara, I love shopping at Zara. I think they have really, really cute dupes for like higher end clothing. But it's just so hit or miss. Like I either walk into Zara and want to buy every single thing in the store or I don't get anything. And like that was just what happened today. And top that off with their like inconsistent sizing and it can just be a really, really annoying experience shopping with them. That being said, I will be shopping their Black Friday sale next week. So when y'all see me doing a Zara haul like in a month or so, mind your business. But yeah such a failed experience so i just got home from the mall and my terrible zara experience um but i just grabbed some food from yard house this like seafood pasta which is absolutely my favorite i'm a pescatarian so i only eat fish or like vegetarian meals so this pasta is really about to hit because i'm super hungry i'm gonna watch real housewives for the rest of the night and just chill and do some work i think i'm gonna do like a little mini zara haul and show you guys tomorrow the things um, that I got like a week and a half ago uh, and then also the boots that I picked up from the store so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow hey you guys good morning it is Friday morning so I'm in full work mode right now I actually am filming this in between meetings so I need to hurry up um, but last night I told you guys I would show you a little bit of a haul of the things that I picked up from Zara um, so I'm gonna do that right now and I actually have a couple little things from Target that I'm gonna show you guys as well so just quickly um, I went to Zara like two weeks ago in New York and I found um, a couple like neutral pieces that I liked. So I picked up this bodysuit, um, pretty standard bodysuit. I think it's the halter neck bodysuit from Zara. It was $19.90. Got it in a size medium in this chocolate brown color because I just love chocolate brown. I think it's one of the, the hot colors of the season. So I thought this would be cute for like a monochrome look or maybe with like some nude uh, leather pants or even just putting on with some cream, sweat, cream sweatpants. So I got that. Um, I also picked up this tan slash kind of camel colored turtleneck just a simple little basic um but i thought it was really cute i got it in a size medium and it was 35.90 and then the last thing that i got from Zara, from that zara trip um was this really nice long like uh maxi not maxi but like a midi length um knit brown dress as you guys can see i really like brown um i got this in a size small and it was 39.90 I just thought it was a cute dress to have. I don't have a lot of dresses, so I thought that this would be a nice addition to my collection and a good layering piece. I mean, it is really stretchy and it has like this ribbed material, uh, but the knit is really nice. It feels like a really substantial material, so happy with that one. And then the boots that I got yesterday that I picked up from the store, these are it. They're just um, like some regular leather boots. I was looking for a leather boot for this fall and I couldn't find one in the price range that I wanted. And then Zara came out with these. I paid $59.90 for these, got them in a size 38, which is a US seven and a half. What I really liked about the boot uh, was again, the faux leather and also the heel. From the side, it looks like a stiletto, but then from the back, you look at it and it has like this rectangular shape, which I thought was pretty unique. So I thought that this was really cute and I picked these up. And then just quickly, some stuff I got from Target. Um, I had no intentions of buying this stuff, but you know, you just like walk into Target and they have 
everything so you just start shopping so the first thing i got was just this little cream quarter zip sweater i've been looking for like a cream sweatsuit to wear for travel since i'm gonna be flying a lot the next kind of month and a half or so for the holidays um wasn't able to find the pants in store but definitely gonna look online for them but yeah this was just a little simple piece that i thought would be cute to just like wear to the airport um as a travel fit and then i also picked up a little matching set i talked about in one of my um in my collective haul video how i really like zara's seamless collection and so target actually has a collection that's really really similar so i got this little matching set it's just um, a pair of biker shorts and then the matching bralette the top was let's see seven dollars and the bottoms were ten which is so so affordable and i would say that the material is like almost the same as zara's if not actually a little bit thicker which is really really nice this is from their colsey line and i think it does come in a couple of other colors so i'm definitely going to look into it because i love having good loungewear since i'm working from home and i'm just you know chilling in the house most of the day and then the last thing i got which yes is childish because i'm grown uh, but they were cute so i got these cute little mittens um, i'm actually going to be you know going back and forth between the east coast and chicago for the next couple months and if you've ever experienced a chicago winter you know how cold it can get so I just wanted like some new outerwear. So I saw these gloves or these mittens at Target and I just couldn't pass them up. And they were $15, which is kind of like expensive for some mittens, but they were cute. And I feel like if I could find like a matching scarf and maybe a hat to go with it, it would just be like a cute little look. So those are the things that I picked up. Um, yeah, and I have to get back to work, but I will check in with you guys a little bit later. So it's been like almost... It's been like almost a month and a half since I got my hair braided. I got it braided back in the beginning of October. Um, and I'm actually going home for Thanksgiving next week. And then I'll be traveling um, all throughout December. So I decided that I actually want to like try and redo some of my braids. They look like from far back, they look pretty good. But like once you get close up to them, you'll see like there's a lot of just like new growth like right there. Um, and I don't want to pay someone to completely redo my braids for me so i'm just gonna like take some time this afternoon to just do them myself so a little bit of backstory i had one of my friends got the, her braider from back home to do my hair um but unfortunately he had to catch a flight and he actually only ended up getting through like three quarters of my hair so i actually finished like this entire section right here i braided myself so i'm not a knotless braiding expert by any means but i definitely can like make it work so i'm just gonna do like I think what I'm gonna do is like just the top kind of section right here and then around the edges so it looks a little bit more clean. Um, since like I said, I am going home for Thanksgiving, I'm going out to a birthday dinner on Monday, so I'm just not gonna have time to do it any other time. So yeah, I'm gonna probably spend like the next couple of hours just trying to get this hair together and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, y'all, we had to take a brief intermission from hair braiding because, of course, I ran out of braiding hair. So I just had to come to the beauty supply um, to get some more and to pick up some other things. Yeah, I'm actually like halfway done. I did this side of my hair so you can see like lots of scalp looks cleaner. Um, and then this side still has like the puffy roots and stuff. So I'm going to go home and finish that stuff up. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that it will not take me too too long this took like a couple of hours just to get to like a quarter of it and that's why i just don't want to do my own hair because i just feel like it takes so much longer when i do it versus when i like just go to somebody else but we're trying to save some money over here and be cost efficient so i'm gonna finish these up tonight hey you guys today is sunday and we finally made it to the saints game um i left my house like an hour and a half early like to make sure that i got here on time and we still had so much traffic and we got here late like the game already started it's the middle of the first quarter but it's fine we made it i'm here with brianna who's in the car and getting her stuff together but we are excited to cheer on the saints today i got my saints hoodie in the mail that's the package i was waiting on yesterday um and yeah we're excited it's cold but we look cute come here brie want to get my vlog this is my friend brie oh look at her she's so beautiful but yeah we're gonna head into the game um and hopefully not freeze our butts off and hopefully the saints can get a win It's the third quarter. 
Um, we're losing. Hi! <laughs> yeah, this is not good, you guys. We're losing. It's like 27 to 7. All right, you guys, we are headed back to the car after the Saints game. Unfortunately, they did not win. Um, they got beat pretty bad. A bummer. Yeah, but we had a good time. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it was still fun. It wasn't actually that cold tonight, so like we didn't suffer too bad. Ooh, there's a lot going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're trying to find the car, but neither of us really know where we are right now. Which Jackie didn't drop a pin. I didn't. I didn't. But you know what? That's neither here nor there because we're getting the exercise we've missed out on in the beginning of the week. Um, but yeah, overall, a good day. Um, disappointing end to the game, but we still had a good time though. Yes. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Good morning, afternoon. It is tuesday and i'm so sorry because like i totally fell off of my vlog after the game on sunday my intention was to go to the game on sunday and then vlog a little bit on monday so you guys could see like my work day and then you would see me getting ready for the dinner i went to last night for my friend's birthday um but i just like didn't have any time to do anything because i was like rushing around yesterday and like i didn't even get like a single picture of my outfit which sucked because it was really cute um but yeah, I like didn't get any footage from last night. She had like a photographer that came and was just following us around for the whole night. So maybe by the time I upload this, I can add some photos in. But yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. It was like, it was a really fun night though. So we went to dinner um, at STK in New York and then we went out to a club afterwards. I haven't been to a club, oh my gosh, like probably since I was in college, just because like I'm not a really big party person. Um, but it was like, it was so much fun. I'm glad that I went and like, we're all able to like get out and celebrate for her birthday. The downside to that is that now my hair smells like a club and you know, you guys know, I have had these braids in my hair and I've had these braids in for a while. And you guys see earlier in the vlog that I was actually redoing part of my hair so it could be like fresh for the next couple of weeks. And now my hair just smells like nightclub and cigarette smoke. And I'm just trying to figure out like what I can do to get rid of this smell so like i've gotten recommendations that i should use dry shampoo and dryer sheets so i'm actually going to run to target after i order my lunch to see if i can go find some because i cannot with this hair like i cannot be walking around smelling like i just walked out of a nightclub on a tuesday afternoon i can't do it so yeah i'm gonna do that and i also just got this package um, i ordered these like chanel dupes slash like fake it's like the cc stud earrings um, so I'm gonna open that up for you guys and we can see what we think. So I just went to go clean the earrings so I could try them on and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. You guys tell me what you think. So I don't know if this makes sense, but like I wanted the earring to be like all the way up on my earlobe. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like hanging down just a little bit. And I feel like it's just like, I feel like they're a little too big. And that's why it's like kind of throwing me off. Like, yes, I wanted the CC style, obviously, but I wanted it to be like subtle and like dainty and petite. And these are like not, they're not huge, but they're just, they're bigger than what I expected, I guess. And I just don't love them. Like, I feel like, yeah, I don't love them. Let me know what you guys think. You can comment down below if I should, well, I have to keep them because I can't return them. Um, if I should keep them or if I should like just give them to my sister because I'm just not 100% sold that I love them and I would have just preferred something just a little bit smaller. So let me know what you guys think. Hello again, you guys. Today is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, and I am at the mall right now again. I came to return those Zara boots that I showed you guys earlier in my little mini haul. Um, I tried them on like I really did like them when I first tried them on but I ultimately felt like they were a little too tight like there was no way that I could fit jeans with them or really like any other pants um inside of them and I felt like because of that I wouldn't reach for them too much so I decided to return them this is like the third time I've been to the mall this week which is concerning um but yeah I'm gonna go home I actually didn't buy anything this time I just did the return um and yeah, today is a little bit hectic. Um, I have, you know, my regular work to do and then tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So I have to pack to go home for Thanksgiving. I have a 5 a.m. flight tomorrow morning, which I'm 
definitely not looking forward to and i'm only staying at home for like less than 48 hours so it's gonna be a quick turnaround but yeah i'm gonna take you guys with me through like my trip and to thanksgiving with my family i was actually gonna end this vlog earlier this week but i forgot to like do like a close out so i figured i might as well just take you guys with me like for the rest of the week so i'm gonna head home um do some more packing of my apartment and also pack for my trip tomorrow and i will check in with you guys tomorrow morning at the airport Hey y'all, good morning. It is Thursday morning and I just got into Chicago. I'm actually at my sister's house right now and you'll have to excuse my sneezing. My sister has a dog, which I'm allergic to, which is like the worst allergy on planet earth. Um, but yeah, I'm here with my sister. She picked me up from the airport. I had a disgustingly early flight this morning. You guys saw I left, I left for the airport at like three o'clock this morning and my flight was at 5.30. Um, so I'm just like running on total fumes right now, but it's all good. I'm excited to be home and see my family um and i'm also really excited to start shopping these black friday sales so far this week i was able to score the abercrombie and fitch leather pants which if you guys know if you have tiktoks if you do have tiktok follow me on tiktok um these leather pants are going like crazy everyone wants them they were originally a hundred dollars and for black friday they had them on sale for 69.30 so i went in store the other day like during one of my many mall trips and I was able to find the, the my size luckily um in the brown color and I actually just got off the website because I just like thought to check this morning and they had my size in the black color so again got those like for like $69 because they're doing a 30% off sale so I'll probably do a haul like in a couple of weeks with everything that I got for Black Friday um I'm probably just gonna be shopping like Abercrombie and Fitch, Zara uh, and then might like try to pick up some boots or some sneakers or something like that but I really don't plan to go like too too crazy for black friday just because i don't want to just like buy a whole bunch of stuff just because it's on sale i want to buy stuff that i'm actually going to use so yeah that's what i'll be doing today um gonna head to my parents house a little bit later for dinner and turn around turn right back around and go home and catch a flight tomorrow night so see you guys later mm -hmm. 